Hi, so last time we talked about the difference between the new Arduino version 2.0 and the old ones. And today I will try to describe to you my personal experience with this program, all the pros and cons about why you should or should not use this new Arduino software. So let's start with the usability. There were a lot of changes from the old software that were aimed at usability. I've worked on some of my personal projects with this software and the usability is great in my opinion, I don't have really anything to say about it, but I don't really see that much of a difference between the old one and the new one. But they added this function, you know, I consider myself a professional at coding with this language, but still I sometimes forget certain functions and they added this great thing that will assure me that this will never happen again. So if I want to use some function, for example digital write, I can just click few letters and then control space and my options will pop out. So I will choose digital write and then I'm gonna pick my variable. So for example pin 13 and I'm gonna click tab and now for example high tab again and semicolon. Is this really easy? way of writing your functions or it may work on something else than functions but I use it mostly on functions so yeah of course there are some downsides to everything firstly the obvious is that you have to click control space every time you use it so it might get quite uncomfortable and even though this is a small thing, they really wasted a lot of potential where they didn't add auto semicolon function because it's something that I forget a lot of time, I'm sure you do too and I think it will be that hard to implement so yeah, but it's fine really Then the next function that they added to the new Arduino is called the peak the definition I've tried to use it in some of my own projects, but I think it's so useless, no one will ever use it, you can see it for yourself. So when you have a function that you don't really understand, you can right click, you can right click on the function and go to peak, peak definition, and this really confusing thing is gonna happen, it's gonna find the supposed definition in the original arduino.h library which i think it's uh i mean it's cool right you can see all the definitions right here high low and whatever but how does this really explain what the function is i don't really understand it just says oh look this is the function um i barely understand it i don't know what beginner is gonna understand this so um See, here's with the definitions. I don't think that this is a definition, but whatever Arduino, it's it's nice, I guess. Um, no one is ever gonna use it, but nice idea. The final thing that I observed about this program is that I have no idea why it exists in the first place. Um, it's clearly trying to look like this program called Visual Studio Code. But when you have Visual Studio Code, why should you have Arduino IDE version 2.0 when it's the same thing? I see that they've tried to do something new and something innovative, but I don't really think they implemented it right. I think there is a lot of things that are really pretty much the same thing. As I said, I've been using this software for a couple of days for my personal use and I like it a lot more than the old ones, of course, the old ones were horrible and some of the functions are really great I love them but some of them are again completely useless like this thing it's basically control F but they have these extra spaces for it I don't know but again I love this software as much as I love Visual Studio Code but anyway I'm gonna use it because it's better than the old ones and Visual Studio Code is kinda complicated and that's pretty much all for me, I don't really have anything more to say about this part of the software, but maybe in the future videos I can get into more details, but for now, goodbye.